in this video i'm going to give you a basic overview of postman uh, which should be enough for us to get started but postman has many more good features which i might not cover in this video so as you work on uh, your api click around and try different things and see how they work and you will eventually discover all the nice things that postman has so when you start your postman you this will be the main work area on the left side you'll have two tabs history and collections history will record everything that you do and collections will have will help you organize your http request into folders and here you'll have three more tabs all me and the team on the right side uh, you have the tabs area where you can start a new tabs where you can work on different http requests and the the structure of this tab is basically you select http method and then you provide request url you provide some of the parameters and headers and then once you send the request here you will see the response so before you start working on your api i advise you or encourage you to sign in if you don't have an account you create one why this is helpful is because once you have an account everything that you do is recorded and then you can log out and go to a different computer for example your home office or your office at work and then you sign in and your environment all the http requests that you have created they will be synced back and uh, restored on a new computer so this is very convenient for example i will sign in now with my google account i will allow postman to have access and right now it's connecting uh, and uh, it will sync and bring back the some of the collections that i have and they will appear here on the left side so if i switch to history i'll see some of the recent http requests that i have tried and here on the collection right now i'm on the teams uh, tab which does not have anything but if i switch to me here i have a few collections and uh, you can click on collection to expand for example postman echo is one of the collections that is shipped together with the postman i did not create this collection so let's try sending a couple of cheat requests for example i'll select request methods here and here i have different http request get post put patch and delete i'll select first one get request and it was opened in a new tab if i wanted to open a new http request in a different tab i will first start a tab and then i'll click on http request to load in a new tab and then i can quickly switch between tabs so i'll close this one for a while so here i have get http request and i could choose a different http method but uh, we're going to continue with get and here we have a request url with some of the parameters passed through the query string now this is traditional way of passing parameters in this course we are going to design restful api we're not going to use query string but these parameters uh, you can always try and experiment and use query string of course if you click on this params button it will open up a panel where you can add more parameters for example if i wanted to add new request parameters i can type here uh, name and then it adds it immediately to query string and then value for example sergey and you see it added ampersand and then name equals sergey and then i can add email and it continues to build query string and i can delete parameters or i can reorder them for example if i needed to and so on this button is basically allows us to execute this http request but if you wanted to send the http request and download results we could use this one if we save this http request it will invite us to create a new collection so for example i can save as or because this one is uh, existing if i click on save it will overwrite the existing request but if i save as it will open this panel where i can choose request name for example i'll choose test and then which collection folder would uh, i would like to store it i can select one of the existing ones or i can create a new one for example test and then i cl click on save and here i have a new collection with only one http request created okay so to send this http request i simply click on send button 
and uh, we have now let's hide parameters here below we have the response panel and response panel contains also a few tabs the very first one is body and then we have cookies and headers and so on so body shows us the response the main body of the response but there are some other very uh, useful information like status if you move mouse over the status it shows you the description of the status for example too hungry is okay and uh, you read the description of what too hungry is and then time it took for this http request to execute and then breakdown of the response size how much bytes we have the body and the headers here we basically are offered different ways of previewing information that we have received pretty one for example this one is content type of this response is json and this nicely formatted for us in json but we could look at the raw http body of this request or preview of this another uh, very useful feature in this area is the code link here so if, if you click on this it brings up a window which contains different different code snippets for example the curl is my favorite if i wanted to have a code snippet in php using http request i select that code snippet and here i have a ready to use php code or if i wanted to know how to send this http request using swift a new programming language from apple I, I select this option and I have an example of how to execute this HTTP request that I've created in Swift language or if I wanted it to have in Java here is the Java code so this is an awesome feature that Postman offers so if I for example select curl then I can uh, copy this HTTP request and I can run it from the terminal window so I, I put paste it here and I hit enter and here we have the HTTP request and I can copy this value and send to my uh, developer a friend who can also test it on his computer so curl is very convenient so this one uh, was HTTP get but we can select another one for example HTTP post and HTTP post a bit different from get when we are sending HTTP post request but we don't pass parameters in a query string like like this uh, name I uh, let me type name equals Sergey we don't do that with HTTP request we usually send um, HTTP post request through the body so I will select body and here I can send the plain text or I can choose for example form data and here provide key value parameters name equals Sergey but this particular example of HTTP post request is using raw body which is sending plain text and let us send this request but before I do let me show you another very nice feature that Postman has and it is called um, console show Postman console so if I open up Postman console I will be able to see more details about HTTP request and response so let me send this and once I get a response here I can switch back to console and expand it a little bit here and click on the entry here and I can see HTTP uh, headers in details and then I can see response headers in details and here we have the body of the response and the body of the request so very convenient feature of the console is and uh, once you've finished working you can sign out of uh, your account and it warns you that once you sign out the data will be removed so don't worry you can uh, sign out and close everything and once you sign in again on a different computer or on the same computer this data is, uh, is going to come back and synced um, back to your computer so if i sign in again with my account and wait for a few seconds for this for postman to sync uh, i will switch to collections here we have this is the test collection and this is the test http request but of course if you make some changes to your http request and then you don't save it and sign out your changes will not be saved 
So if you made some significant changes to your HTTP request, make sure you save your changes before signing out or closing uh, Postman. Otherwise, your changes will not be saved. And I'll give you a, an example. For example, let's say you have HTTP post request here to uh, create a new user profile. And usually when we send HTTP post request, we send a JSON uh, payload. Uh, with this HTTP request and JSON payload may contain many fields. So if you made a change in this field and then close program or sign out without saving, without clicking on the save button, you will lose the change. So make sure you save before you close the postman. And this is it for this short introduction to Postman. Of course, Postman has many more uh, nice features, but uh, these features that I have introduced you in this video will be the most commonly used in this video course as we work on uh, designing our RESTful API.